the Lord. Another great day where we can give God all the honor, the glory, and the praises. Father, we thank you. Cover me under your blood and let your Holy Spirit take control. Put your words into my mouth, God. Not my will, Father, but your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As we continue with another series of inner message, again, that's the word of God, which the word of God is yea and nay. Amen. Praise the Lord. To Grenada Carrick, one pity, Matic, national and international. To God be the glory, great things he has done. I bring you greetings in no other name, but in the mighty name of Jesus. To Brother Charlie and family members, I want to say thank you and may God continue with his continual blessing upon you. Amen. As you continue to sponsor this program. Praise the Lord. To MTV staff and members, management, may God continue to bless you as you give us the privilege to bring the word, the word, the word, which is sharp and powerful, which is the truth, no compromise. Amen. No twisting, no fornicating, live and direct from the word of God. Amen. This morning we're going to read a little in Genesis chapter 12. We're going to do a little reading in Abra about Abraham and Sarah. Amen. These, are, these folks are great example to us. Amen. Father, we thank you. Let your will be done right now. I pull on every stronghold and I bind every strong man that is standing in, in your way, Lord. We cast out every demonic forces in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you because you are God, mighty and true. Now the Lord said unto Abraham, that's the word of God. The word of God is sharp and powerful. He said unto Abraham, get thee out of your country. Amen. We're talking about complete separation. Amen. Get thee out of your country and from your kindred. Come out from your family home. Come off from your mother home. Come off from your neighborhood. It is time to get out and to go and to do the things that God require of you. Praise the Lord. Get thee out of your country and from your kindred and from your father's house unto a land which I will show you. That's the word of God. Now when God call you out, when God speak to you, all we need to do is to obey the voice of God. He said, get out. Now if we are in the world, we are part of the world but not supposed to be part, doing the things of the world. Amen. God is speaking to us for complete separation. He wants us to be separated from the things of the world. That's why he called out Abraham. He said, Abraham, my son, this is time for you to come out. I have things for you to do. I have great vision for you. And instead of for me to use you, you got to come out from where you are. Hey, hallelujah. That's the word of God. Is any one of us want to come out from our father's home or where we are because God wants to use us and he cannot use us in the state where we are or the condition where we are, but he wants us to say yes, to listen to his voice and answer his call. Abraham did answer the call. And one good thing about Abraham, he had faith. Oh, hallelujah. That was a man that had faith in God. Praise the Lord. Oh, my God. Thank you. So Abraham stepped out by faith. Amen. And I will make you a great nation. That's what the Lord said to Abraham. And God is speaking to us at the same time. I want to use you. I want to show forth my powers in you, through you, where I can use you as a vessel, my God. That is God speaking and he's speaking to the churches. He is speaking to people that are washed in his blood. He don't only have to be ministers and evangelists and pastors, but God is speaking to his people in the church to come out because I want to use you as an oracle. Are you ready to be used by God? Sometimes we think that God is not able, but God is able. Amen. Hallelujah. And I shall be and you shall be blessed. Amen. And I will bless thee who bless thee. Anybody who bless him, I shall bless you. And that God is speaking to us. The word of God is for us. 
Abraham was the past, but we are the future, we are the present. So God is speaking to us today. Hallelujah. Are we listening to the voice of God? He said, I want to bless you, but we got to come out from where we are. Amen. And I will also curse him that curse you. Praise the Lord. In the sh in you shall all families of the earth be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Great and awesome word. Thank you, Jesus. So Abraham depart as the Lord finished spoke to him. Amen. Now, once you are anointed, once you have the power of God upon your life, once you are called by God, it doesn't matter who curse you, who try to be with you, who try to do you wrong things. Once God hands it upon your life, no devil in hell could touch you. That's the reason why the Lord said, I will bless them that bless you, and I will curse them that curse you. That's the word of God. So when you see God people walking and doing the things of God, don't try to look at them and criticize them and say so many bad things about them and even try to go on the ground to go and destroy them. You can make it because they are well protected by God. Amen. Hallelujah. And Lot also went with, a Lot which is his nephew, also went with him. But again, when God call you, you got to go by yourself. You don't need no uncle, no nephew, no parent, nobody with you. But however, he take Lot, his nephew, with him. And they went together. They take all the things that was very valuable. Amen. And they went to Canaan. Praise the Lord. They had to leave the father house and get out. Praise the Lord. But God didn't come call Lot. He called Abraham. He said, Abraham, come out from your father's house and get out. It is time because I have a purpose for your life. Oh, glory be to God. And Abraham took his wife, Sarah, which that is the person he had to took at the, at, at the first place, in the first place. And Lot, his brother, son, and he shall, and all the substance that they have gathered together, and they sold what they had gotten in Haran, and they went forth and go in the land of Canaan. Canaan is the land, the promised land, where God provides for them. Amen. And God also has a promised land for us. But are we ready and willing to get out from our situation? Come out, let go our attitude, our behavior, let go the things of the world, and ready for that promised land. In order to get that promised land, it don't just come like that. You got to work for it. Amen. When you go Go to work, you leave your home, you get up all in the morning, you bed, you dress, you prepare your lunch, and you go to work. And you have respect because you try to reach on your job in time, amen, because you don't want your boss to fire you. Think about the Most High God. Sometimes we want to give God what we feel, what we want, dress how we want in the presence of the Lord. But we got to let go certain things that are in our life, which is a hindrance to our spiritual life, and let God will be done. Even if it seems, seems difficult, it might seem difficult, but we got to have that determination and that willingness to want the things of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Even more than the things of the earth. Even more than the things of the world. Even more than your job. You got to want more of the things of God. Oh, hallelujah. Our God is an amazing God. Amen. From us, hallelujah. Praise Him. And in verse 10, and there was a famine while there was in the land of Canaan. There was a great famine that arose in the land of, Ca of Canaan, my God. It was so terrible that they had to move and go down to Egypt. But on the way, going down to Egypt, uh, Abraham knew the danger in going to Egypt. So Abraham told his wife, he loved his wife, she was a beautiful woman. So he said, Sarah, you cannot tell them that you are my wife. You got to tell them that me and you is brothers and sisters. Otherwise, they will try to kill Abraham and take his wife away from him. Now lie is lie, excuse is excuse. But that all that was in the plan of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. 
And he said unto Sarah, his wife, Behold, I know that you are fair, good looking, so we got to be careful. So please say what I ask you to say. Amen. And they had to do that in order for her husband to leave, Abraham to leave, because they was going to get rid of him and to take Sarah away. Oh, hallelujah. And it came to pass that, and it came to pass that when Abraham was come into Egypt, the Egyptian beheld the woman and said, she is fair. You see, she is fair, yeah, she is beautiful. Oh my God. So if they didn't try to make that excuse, that cover up, in order to protect Abraham, they was going to kill Abraham. Amen. And take Sarah away from him. Praise the Lord. And the prince also of Pharaoh uh, say her, saw her sorry, and commend her before Pharaoh. Praise him. And the woman was taken into Pharaoh's house. Mm. And he entreated Abraham well for her sake. So see, he was treating Abraham very well because of Sarah. Because thinking Sarah is his sister in truth but it was not his sister my god and he and he had sheep and oxen and asses and man servant and maid servant and she asses the camel praise the lord so you see they take nice care of them because they didn't know the truth amen praise the lord so I want to say to us that we have to be obedient to the word of God. Now we're going to read a little bit in, in because my main story is about Sarah and Hagar. And he said when he was down in Egypt, he saw Hagar. Well, she was a beautiful woman also. And... Uh, she conceived, which it was Sarah that really asked him, sorry, before we go there, in chapter 16 of Genesis. Now Sarah, Abraham's wife, bare him a child. Bear him a child, and the Egyptian whose name was Hagar. And Sarah said unto Abraham, Behold now, the Lord has restrained me from hearing. Sarah said unto Abraham, Behold, the Lord has restrained me from hearing. I pray you go into the, thy maid. It may be that I may obtain children from her. You see, it's a bad thing we're doing. We want to walk for God, and we cannot walk for God. The Bible said, They that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. Sarah feel that she was getting old, and she getting tired, and she wouldn't be able to have any children again, so she think that she should make her own decision by asking her husband to go into Hagar and to, bring, and to get her pregnant but always there is some destruction coming our way when we make our own decision in the flesh hallelujah tell us what we do once it's wrong it always backfire on us amen so i pray you go in unto my maid because she was the servant working for them while they was down in egypt praise the lord it may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abraham hearkened to the voice of Sarah. Abraham could have denied. Abraham could have said no. But he was greedy. Maybe he wanted another taste. Which that was wrong. He accepted what his wife told him. And he went into her and get a child. But the epistle of the Galatians declare that Sarah and Hagar represent the two principles of the law. You see, what happened, it had to be done in order for God to continue with his work. Amen. The principle of the law and grace. Hagar represent the, the salvation by works. But Sarah, salvation by faith through grace. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. These principles are opposed to one another. Amen. That's the reason why, again, the Bible said, once you are a child of God, you cannot get married with somebody who don't know God. Become an unequal yoke. There is always confusion. There will be always bickering. There will be always ups and downs because we make the wrong decision. It is biblical. Amen. Hallelujah. And all we need to do is to obey. But don't think that Sarah and Abraham didn't pay for what they did, for the decision that they make. Amen. To one another. Ishmael is born of the result of a man planning. It was Sarah that planned. Sarah that made decision. Let us do. Let us go into her and make children. But, um... Isaac come because of faith that was God promised to the Lord, to, to Abraham. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Planning and energy in the birth of Ishmael. So that was of works. Praise the Lord. And God had nothing to do with it. And as regard of the birth of, of Isaac, man was dead. So it is today. Salvation by works entirely depends on man's capacity to produce them. Salvation by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Upon God's ability to perform them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So we always have to wait on God and do the things that God wants us to do. Amen. Praise Him. And that is how he went into Hagar, and Hagar bare him a son. And he said, and he went into Hagar, and they conceived. And when she saw she had conceived, her mistress was despised. Now jealousy starts stepping in. Things start happening among them. Hagar starts showing forth her color. She wanted to take authority because she had a child for Abraham, the boss. Amen. So there was a lot of little chaos and confusion there among them. And Sarah said unto Abraham, my wrong be upon you. Amen. Hallelujah. At least she acknowledged where she went wrong. I have given my maid unto your bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I despise in her eyes. And the Lord judged between me and you. Amen. Sarah now sees her wrong. You cannot walk for God. You got to let God walk for you. Virgin, we got to wait on God. Again, they that wait upon the Lord, I, God, shall renew their strength. Even if you mount up with wings as eagle, run and never get weary. Just wait upon the Lord. We got to mount up with wings as eagle with the Lord God on our side. If we go to do it in ourselves as Sarah do, we got to always get in trouble. Do not make decision on your own. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. But Abraham said unto Sarah, Behold, your maid is in your hand. Praise the Lord. Do to her as it pleases. Confusion starts. Break out starts in the house. So now, because of that, Abraham tell her, the maid is in your hands. Right now, you could do what you want with her. If you want to make her go get her out of the house, you could do that. What we should do first, that is what we do in last. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And that is in verse 4 of uh, chapter 16. Now I'm going to go in, in, in verse 9 of chapter 18. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know the time runs very fast, so I have to move on very fast. Sorry. Chapter 17. Verse 15, and God said unto Abraham, as Sarah your wife, you shall not call her name 
Sarah anymore. Her name will be changed. But Sarah shall her name. She was Sar Sarai, but her name shall be Sarah. And I will bless her and give her a son. Hallelujah. Also of her. A son coming from her womb, from her inside. Amen. And I will bless her and give you a son also to her. Amen. Yes, I will bless her and she shall be a mother of many nations. Just as all Abraham is the father of many nations. Sarah will become the mother of the nation. Amen. And it was like that. Praise the Lord. King of people shall be, shall be of her. Hallelujah. And Abraham fell on, upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto me who is an hundred years? Amen. And shall Sarah, who is ninety years old, bear a son? But who is we to question God? God is a miraculous God. With God, all things are possible. When God says something, he stands on his word. He is a way maker, miracle worker. He knows how to strengthen the bones of Sarah. He knows how to strengthen her womb. He knows what to do that she will able to carry that child for nine months and to bring forth that child into this world. Many times God sent us out there to speak to people, to witness to people, to do his work. And because of stubbornness and disobedience, you tell yourself that you are too old. You see how the devil is a liar? Just as what the devil did to Sarah speak to her she, she was laughing and the laugh was not because of joy but the laugh was because of unbelief she didn't believe at all that God was going to give her a son she didn't believe at all that she was able to carry a son into this world and so is us many times God calls us to do certain things we refuse we say God I'm too old God I'm tired God my job is difficult God my this God my that and we begin to tell God what we want but we very rude and out of order we only have to obey that's the reason why the world is so corrupted and it's all because of sin and disobedience because we cannot stand or lean on the word of God amen hallelujah this is the time where we need to go back to God go back ask God for forgiveness repent and take back our rightful place where we belong in the Lord oh Oh, glory be to God. Oh, Jesus, have your way, Lord. Put your words in my mouth. Yes, I will bless her, and she shall be the mother of nation. Then Abraham fell on his, on his face, and he began to laugh. And Abraham said unto God, Oh, that Ishmael might live before you. And God said, Sarah, your wife shall bear you a son indeed. And you shall call his name Isaac. Oh, hallelujah. And God said to Sarah, your wife shall bear you a son indeed. God said to Sarah, your wife shall bear you a son indeed. And you shall call his name Isaac. And you will establish my covenant. That is God covenant. God rules. It will be coming through Sarah and, and Abraham. Praise the Lord. With him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. Amen. The covenant is to be established with Isaac and not Ishmael because Isaac come in by faith through grace but Ishmael was by works it was only planned by the mouth of man amen by Sarah and Abraham praise the Lord this completely shut down the, con the contention of the Muslim and the Ishmael was the chosen one Ishmael 
was the chosen one. That's what they think. Unless you don't believe the Bible, the eyes of the Lord Jesus Christ, true Isaac, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior of mankind, would ultimately come. So that's where Jesus come, true Isaac. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the root. So God have a plan for everything in this world. God just know what he was doing. God is God all by himself. He is the all-knowing God. Amen. And nobody cannot stand against the word of God. And they try and said unto him, and they said unto him, where is Sarah your wife? And she said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return you according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah, your wife, shall have a son. And Sarah heard it in the tent door and was behind him when sickened in age. And it created to be with Sarah after the manner of woman. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am wax, I'm old, shall I have the pleasure of my Lord? Yes, we could. Even if we are cold, we are old, there is nothing is impossible with God. With God, we can do all things. Amen. And what God said he will do, he will do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am worth all, shall I have pleasure with my Lord, being old also. And the Lord said unto Sarah, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of surety bear a child which am old? Amen. This is in the scripture, hallelujah, the laughter of faith, the laughter of unbelief. Oh, hallelujah. You will get it in Psalms 126 verse 2. We need to read the Bible. And also in Matthew chapter 9 verse 24. Fulfill the former and fulfill the former. Amen. Sarah's Sarah laughter was that of unbelief. She didn't believe. She don't think that God could have ever used her. And it's so all of us, we condemned ourselves. Because of the way we think, we think that God cannot use us because we're not putting ourselves in the way to be used by God. But God can use anybody. God is God all by himself. All we need to do is to obey the word of God, submit ourselves, get rid of things in our life because God looks for a heart that is gentle, kind, compassionate. That is the heart. If your heart is full of evil and bitterness, God cannot use you. There is no way God could walk within us. Amen. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? No. No, Benjamin. Nothing is too hard for God because the Bible said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Not on our own ability, not thinking in the carnal, not planning things in the flesh, but it got to be God's way or no way at all. If it got to be done our way, we're going to always get ourselves in trouble like what happened to Sarah. She made her own plan with her husband to go into Hagar and to have a child, then all type of confusion and bitterness and hatred start among them and it end up bad oh hallelujah so we got to wait upon god and trust god praise the lord at the time appointed i will return unto you according to the time of life and sarah shall have a son don't play with god when god have a purpose for your life when god have a purpose for your community when god have a purpose there is nothing or not even you and i could stop it while we might be planning god knows how to interrupt and god did interrupt into the life of sarah and abraham and hagar that's the god that we serve amen he could interrupt at any time amen it's not about what we say how we feel what we do but it's all about god amen 
Then Sarah denied, saying, I laugh not, for she was afraid. But she was not afraid. She, had a, she, she was unbelief and full of fear. And she said, no, but you did laugh. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you did laugh. And that was a gentle rebuke. Bedrin, with God, all things are possible. With you women who knows God, who are baptized into God, stop hiding yourself in the rock. Come out, launch out. There is a lot of women outside there that are frustrated. There are a lot of women outside there that want a word of encouragement. There is a lot of women outside there that are bitter because of situation they are going through in their life. And they're depending on, on me and you that knows the, the Lord. Amen. Me and you that knows what it is to stand on the word of God. Stop hiding. Come out and reach out in your community. Talk to somebody. Talk to a woman. Talk to a young child. Talk to them because they need us. And we remember we are the salt of the earth. We are the light. They are depending upon us. And God wants to walk through us. Wake up, women. Wake up and take up that mantle that is due unto you and I. Take up that mantle as Deborah did. Deborah pick up the mantle. She was a woman of war and she stand on the word of God. And I trust God that today we will wake up, turn from our situation and let God wake up women. There is women that need you outside it. Too much sleeping women. Too much sleeping women. We sleeping for too long. Wake up and turn back to God now. There is nothing. Step out by faith. Abraham step out by faith. He didn't allow no fear to arise in him, but he step out by faith. And he do what God required of him to do. He obeyed God. Faith without faith, it is impossible to please God. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Evangelist John Patterson, I'm no longer a slave to sin, but I am a child of God. Walking in holiness. Oh my God. Dancing in grace. Oh, hallelujah. I'm going to dance in the grace of God wherever I go because I know who God is and what he has done. Glory be to God. Praise. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child.